and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and you're about to see one of my favorite best of Bob Blasts, and it has to do with the color gold, gold gesso. I love doing a body of work with gold gesso, adding a little bit of black to it, some black collage paper. It kind of gives it an ancient, almost an Egyptian kind of a quality. Like I just found these digging for years in Egypt or something like that. So these become my treasures of bowls, vessels. That's what they are anyway. Gold gesso is fantastic. Hey, enjoy the best of Bob Blast. Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about the color of gold. Where does that fit into our color scheme? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so let me just tell you how I use it and why I use it. I love the color gold because it, it has so much richness, right? Ever since the beginning of time. Well, I still use the color gold. Let me show you the effects of gold that I use. So here's a big sheet of gold gesso. Look at that shimmering. Isn't that amazing? Gold gesso. But I use it in my negative space painting, as you can see throughout here, and I mix it into other colors. This is very experimental stuff. Let's see how crazy I can get with the different kinds of golds. But I also use it right into my more recognizable images where I mix it in with all the other colors and it gives it a certain kind of a sparkle that I happen to like very much. Anyway, it's the, the color that I like to play with because it's so wrong, <laughs> no? And I like to play with it because it's, it creates a different kind of a feeling. Let me show you the different kinds of golds that I use. The color gold. Oh, we love that color, right? Anyway, it just says expensive. So let me show you the different kinds of golds that I use in my water-based paints. Alrighty. Certainly, uh, you can get the no color golds. Oh, look at this beautiful, wonderful, very, very affordable. It's called Nova Color Yellow Gold. And of course, then there's this pseudo gold. This is kind of marigold from Holbein, which I love so much, so much. This happens to be my favorite gold. This is Daniel Smith's gold gesso. Believe it or not, when this dries, it's super, super gold. We also have so many different companies make these powdered golds too. Just to let you know, you can dissolve them in oils, turpentines, and you can use gold this way. Of course, we all love our Golden's uh, Nickel Azo Gold. It's another acrylic paint that we love so much. And so they all dry with a different kind of a sheen. I just want you to know that. And you should try them all. Try them all. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna show you that even in the powdered gold, it's beautiful. Just beautiful, just adding water or turpentine to this. It almost looks like melted gold after a while. It's a beautiful color. It's very difficult for you to probably see it in this lighting, but it shimmers. It just literally shimmers. Now, to show you why I like this particular gold, this is the uh, uh, Daniel Smith gold gesso, believe it or not. When it dries, it's still super, super gold. So I have a black piece of paper, white piece of paper. You're gonna see a slightly difference. Now this is their gold gesso. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna put the same color on top of this. You get different effects. So what I really wanna to stress to you is you have to try a little bit of everybody's until you start learning about interference colors and golds and the gessos. Sometimes I'll even take this and move it right into this. Why not? Whoa, whoa. See, it's a slightly different gold. Gosh, it's so rich, so rich. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that don't be afraid of gold. 
paint, especially if it's gold gesso. I've just shown you my top favorite ones. They all work so well. Here's one right now. I'm gonna do it right now, real quick. I'll do it this way so you can see it. Oh, I love this negative shape painting. Mix up some more of the gold paint. Dip in here even more so. Whoa. And when this dries, here's the thing about this stuff. When it dries, depending on the angle of the light, it's going to have a different effect. So just know that. Ah, gosh. Nice. It reflects different lights. And so that's what I like, the metallic gold. More of the metallic gold because it acts like a reflection. There we go. Fun. Really difficult for you to really see it as a completion because of the gold and the reflection is still wet and all that stuff. Hey, I want you to try this stuff. Try something new. It's the new year. Yay! So start painting and keep your brushes wet. I'll see you on the next Bob Last. Take care. Well, I hope that was enlightening for you and you try some of that because it works for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.